Hi guys, uh, so we got a radiator on a 2019 uh, Sonata, Hyundai Sonata uh, GDI engine. Uh, it should be quite similar for most of them. Uh, I'm basically about to finish the job to be fair, but I just thought I'll uh, make a quick video here. It's a fairly straightforward job. Um, you've got, uh, where should we start? So you've got, you've got this upper radiator hose. That goes just here. You can see that comes off with a clamp. You've got the lower hose, which goes to just over there. There is a little piece which I've taken off of that. So you'll need this for your new one. Uh, this thing here, uh, it clips on like that, and you've got to remove this clip. And then this goes into the hose and clamps in there. Uh, radiator cap, obviously, up here. And then these, things clip in to the condenser itself if I can get it out I'll probably have to move this but give you an idea just in there uh, so you've got to get your hand in get your hand in squeeze these down and then the radiator should clip out once you've um once you've loosened everything else um, and that's pretty much it to be honest but obviously first thing you want to do so what i would be doing is or what anybody should be doing is just down there you've got that little valve on these which is quite helpful unscrew that let all the coolant out well as much as you can there was still coolant in mine once i took it out um coolant comes out then you remove the radiator hose from here the one down there and then that gets all your coolant out and then you've got some 10 mils uh, holding these in you've also actually got the radiator fan obviously i'm putting this back together so it's, it's a bit um a bit odd to try and explain it but the radiator fan sits so you've got one bolt in here same one on the other side and there and then it sits on these things over here um, there is a plug for the radiator fan which is this plug on the radiator fan which I'll show you before I'll reconnect it um, and then also the conden the AC condenser sits on those little tabs in there so once you what you want to do is push the radiator towards the engine and it should just pull up from there and that's pretty much it so right now what i'm going to do first thing i've got to pull the condenser back in and clip the radiator back in and then uh, have it sitting on its uh, have it sitting on its bits and then from there we can uh, go ahead and put the rest on uh yeah so once you've put those in um you also got this as well actually uh, so this is a hose from the coolant tank which comes on to just over here it should pretty much just uh, pull off fairly straightforward job be careful with your ac lines um and now i'm gonna go ahead and just clip this in to give you a bit of a clearer idea those clips are gonna go in there and you would just want to get your hand in there and remove those uh, so yeah let's take a look we've also got these two uh which sit on the bottom of the radiator uh there's little um sort of pegs for them they literally just slide in uh and then you can go ahead and start mounting the radio right so it's all up and running no leaks um coolant is pretty much up to level i've taken it for a test drive there's no leaks coming coolant seems to be holding up temperature is good here's the plug for the fan that i mentioned fans running as well and radiator has pretty much fixed up and it's an upgraded radiator as well i think it was taiwanese or something and so yeah that's all done jobs are good